All right, guys, Gaby32 here. Check it out. We're sitting up in this little studio thing that I had set up a couple years ago. I haven't had an opportunity to use it lately, but uh, since I had a company called X2 Dev Group reach out to me, asked if I'd be interested in doing a review on this barrel. This is the Trident. This is their 16 inch version. They have a 14 and a half and a 12 and a half version. I said, hell yeah, so let's go ahead and do this. Now, this is going to be a couple different parts. I want to have an excuse to build a new rifle, so this is it. This is one of the main ing ingredients to a new rifle build. Uh, and from what I've heard and what I've seen and my preliminary viewpoints of this barrel, I think we're in for a treat. Now, my favorite thing to use when I'm shooting competition or trying to shoot precision is the 77 grain C era, so we'll be using that in this barrel. So there's a couple different parts like I said, this is going to be a tabletop. We're going to go ahead and scope out the barrel. Uh, we're going to go over the details of it. It's going to be very simple. I mean, how exciting can a barrel tabletop review be? Not very exciting, but we're going to go through the details. So if you're interested in buying one of these things, well, you'll know what you're getting. Then we're going to take it out to the field. We're going to check it for accuracy. We're going to run about 150 rounds through it. Go ahead and get the copper equilibrium built up on it. And then we're going to throw some 77 grain Sierras. We'll do a comparison between this and a couple other uppers that I have with using some competition barrels because they're claim to fame. At one pound, 5.7 ounces, this thing is as light as, oh, I don't know, say one of my other favorite barrel manufacturers, Proof Research. So with that, uh, after we do that, we're going to go ahead and do a burn down and see if the point of impact of shifts. It's so pretty simple, pretty easy. You know, if you've seen my videos before, you'll do. I've got a couple shout outs to some friends of mine. Hey, uh, BJ, I'm wearing your shirt. And then uh, another company, uh, The Disaster Pastor. I'm going to put the link down below for his uh, website. And this is a gentleman who goes around the country and helps people out. He's looking for some donations. So check it out. So let's further ado, let's go ahead and get it over to the table. Um, not about production. We're going to go ahead and get into the nitty gritty of this thing and let you know. All right, here we go. Stand by. Now, as you notice, I've got a couple other barrels here. We're going to go ahead and do a couple things. One is I want to go ahead and scope this thing out. Now, when I received this, it was wrapped in a uh, you know nice little plastic expansion sleeve that goes around it. I have had it rolling around, trying to figure out what I'm going to do with this thing. I might have to repurpose. I want to do an upper that is worthy of this barrel. Uh, and, and quite frankly, it's not a cheap barrel. Let me see here. Uh, this guy retails for $695. Oh, yeah. Look at that. However, we'll see if it's worth it because the proof research barrel, this is about 900 right here. Now this is a 20 inch barrel, one and seven twist. This particular barrel is a one and eight. My favorite uh, twist rate. I have found it. One and eight works really, really well with 62 grain, 75 grain, uh, 77 grain. In any case, it's one of my favorites. Now, again, like I said, this thing comes in a 16 inch, four and a, 14 and a half inch, and a 12 and a half inch. I like a 12 and a half inch barrel. That's what I carry in the, uh, you know, the old getaway rifle. Uh, but yeah, that's one of my favorites. This is a particular this one right here is a mid length gas system. They did send a gas block out and a tube. We'll go ahead and then look at that when we're doing the build. All right, so <laughs> their claim to fame is it's lighter than most carbon barrels, but better heat dispersion resistant than many bull barrels. Now that's going to be interesting to see. We're going to go ahead and I will probably. I'll uh, bring a heat gun and so we can uh, go ahead and take the temperature. It is guaranteed the accuracy of a match barrel, reduced weight like a patrol barrel, and extended use heat performance of heavy barrel all in one. Okay, <laughs> with that, uh, sub MOA guarantee with the quality of ammunition, with quality ammunition. And you know what? I've got some Sig Sauer stuff. We'll go ahead and test it out with that. Uh, big shout out to the guys at Callaway Ballistics. We're going to go ahead and, and they're going to send out some ammo so we can do the burn down with this thing. Uh, let's talk about the extreme rigidity ensures consistency and minimal point of impact shift when mounting suppressors. I'm not going to do a suppressor on this thing, but I am going to do a point of impact shift check. Okay. And look at the, I mean, I've never seen a barrel with the flutes the way this is. And what it is, is rigidity because this, you have one here and then on the opposing side, you have one as well. So what that does, I guess, is that, so, but you're also going to be able to keep your harmonics in the barrel. 
Like I said, lightweight, this thing is one pound, 5.7 ounces. I went ahead and checked on this. Uh, one of the things is this is a button pulled barrel and that's okay. There's, that's good as long as they have a quality assurance. I know that a lot of companies, what they do is they'll check that button rod when they pull that thing through the cryogenic freeze this thing. I'm not sure how they produce this, but they'll also check the tolerances of the tool to make sure that what you're getting in this barrel is the same thing that you're going to be getting down the road in another barrel. Um, heat profile, consistent group dispersion up through 473 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, the heat is evenly distributed. Okay, so this thing's chambered in 223 wild, uh, 0.750 gas thing, 128 uh, threads up here. 416 uh, are stainless steel. The barrel extensions of nitride. Okay, so anyway, this thing is coated in nitride. You can get it, I think, in just a plain old stainless steel. But why would you want to do that if you got to go ahead and get it nitride? What it does is it keeps the uh, corrosion down and the barrel lasts longer. Okay. Uh, as far as accuracy, I found it. Uh, Nitride barrels do just fine. Okay, so with that, let's go ahead and do the cool thing about it, because that's pretty much it on the barrel. The barrel extension is, you got M4 feed ramps there, as you can see, whoa, there they are. I am going to use my good old test long deal here, and I have not run anything through this barrel, okay? So this is how it came to me from the good old boys over there at X2. All right, let's go ahead and start our recording here. And one of the things, oh yeah, by the way, we do have these little index points where you can have your op opposing screws on the opposite side of the, of the uh, exhaust port right here. So one of the things I wanna show you as we move this test long bore scope in here, I want you to see where the lands are jumping, okay? Uh, secondly, I've not run anything through this barrel. This is how it came from the manufacturer. Uh, I, I, I'm going to be honest with you, I've only seen one other company that does anything that's close to this. And I'm going to show you an example of some really crappy looking barrels here in a second. But the jumps are smooth and clean. Uh, as we move up, the lands and the grooves are absolutely immaculate, okay? You're not going to come across a lot of anything that looks just as good as this. But the one I really want to show you, okay, is we can move up here. Let me bring this back out. I want to show you the inside of the exhaust port. Doo -doo -doo. This is where the gas comes out, and you guys know how much I love my gas holes. Well, I can't find it. Let's do it one more time. Really? Oh, there we go. Boom. We'll go ahead and rotate that to the side. But I want to show you, look how clean that is. That is absolutely beautiful. That's quality assurance. I mean, it's almost like they ran stuff through it. And if you look over here, you can see some of the circular portions for where they machined it out, okay? But that's this is a great looking interior barrel. The lands and the grooves are, are immaculate. Let's go look at the crown. Boom. All the way around. That looks phenomenal. Okay, so uh, in comparison, because I would be lying to you if I did want to show you, this is the proof research barrel. This barrel's never been fired. Uh, I'm waiting on something really special to do with this, okay? But this is a stainless steel. Um, you can see there's tooling marks right there, okay? Does that mean anything? No, uh, not really, but yeah, not really. <laughs> but you can see the lance. This is a quality barrel. This is a marksman. This is a, this is, uh, and it should be. The damn thing cost almost a thousand dollars. Now, here's something that I picked up from uh, Midway USA, their stoner barrel. I can tell you by the strike marks right here, I know who's making this barrel. That's my assumption. But uh, this is what you're going to find in a $100 barrel, okay? So we get up here, you can see the lands, the grooves, they're all over the place. There's no, there's no rhyme or reason. But even worse is I want you to see the drilling. Unreal. And it's clean, but you're going to be shooting a lot of rounds to this thing to get it to look halfway decent, okay? So back to it. Pretty much, that's it in a nutshell. Uh, we will be uh, going ahead and putting another rifle build together with this guy. Here is a bolt carrier we're going to use. This is a Lantac. Never, I bought this uh, many, many moons ago. And uh, never even put it in something that was worthy of it. But I will tell you this. 
She fits like a charm. All right, guys, if you have any questions, uh, please don't hesitate and shoot me an email. I will put a link to this on my campsite. Next time we do this, I'll go ahead and mount it to the rifle. We're going to accurize it and do what we got to do to make sure this thing is going to be shooting at its best performance. With that being said, guys, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Always end them like this. Sport red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless us men. Women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. This freedom comes in some nice-ass flutes. Look at that, dude. I mean, that is a gorgeous barrel. Wow. All right. Y'all be good. I'm out of here. Boom.